All right, y'all. Who's afraid of the afterlife or death or whatever? Let's tie some points of light together on this so you don't have to be so afraid on it. And uh, we're going to be connecting light, man, God, sun worship, everlasting life, reincarnation, all those things together in this hopefully one video. Um, a foundational point y'all need to understand about our reality around you is that the sun, moon, and stars, they follow you to your own perspective. Okay? What does this mean? It means that when you're standing on the beach, looking at the sun set, that beam of light that connects you to the sun, when you step away from the person you're with on the beach or the group you're with, that beam of light follows you. All right? If the earth revolved around the sun, like they say, that beam of light would go like this. Okay? What they tell you about revolving around the sun is code speak for uh, worshiping that one man, that culture. Going after that one man that the God created of the us and our, us and our collective mind that we came in and voted on or went and bought their records or bought their foods or bought their Levi's or bought their whatever, okay? Um, so all these things are tied to worshiping men, worshiping the beast system, all those things. So um, that is one source of light. That is where the foreheads are marked. Then there's a source of light given by the invisible light and that's where you are not given over to the delusion of the world where you're risen above the things happening and you can see what's happening and there's different levels based on the talent you have the talent you use if you use the talents if you go to work if you don't go to work like working spiritually not whatever because the kingdom says that the people are there and they're like we didn't know it was time to work but you still get to come in you just got to listen and Start seeking truth like you're supposed to be doing. Jesus is the key to truth, okay? We are the key to truth. We have to seek after truth. We are the Word. We give life to the Word. We have that Holy Spirit. We can give a loving, kind word, or we can give a hateful word. We can give life with our tongue, or we can destroy with our tongue. We are that three in one. And we are connected to that three in one. The sun, man, and earth. All right? And that earth is that Holy Spirit, that female spirit that we can go over this whole earth. Now understand that this light, it follows each and every one of us. We are connected to that light individually. All right? When we are born, we are born with an electric spark. When you go out and sun gaze, you will see. When you go into the beach and stare at the sun, connects you to that light beam across the waters on the deep. You will see that your sun is a giant electrical ball. It is not a gas giant. That's an ass giant. That's why they're telling you it revolves around the ass giant. And that's the... You can play your own words. Um, it's the tribulation of the word. These men came in. They told you what these words meant. They told... they. Gave you the constructs of these new words and all this other stuff and told you how it's supposed to be spelled. And that's part of the rulers of darkness. You have language arts, blessed art thou. And you have the rules of English and all those things to keep you down on the right and wrong. Oh, he can't tell, spell that word that way. It's not too like that. That's not the number two. He's just making shit up. Well, it's all starting to make sense if you've been paying attention. Um... So, <clears throat> the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, it's all, con it's all created for each and every one of us to go out and enjoy, to go out and feel, to go out and taste, to go out and experience, to go out and live in. And this world around us has taken down its boundaries. Or has putting up boundaries. I'm sorry. So, um, 
with these boundaries, it comes with like the us and the our. That's our. That's mine. It's mine. Um, I found this place with a bunch of fruit trees. There's no fence around it, so I'm going to put a fence around it. I'm going to say it's mine. I'm going to go take the the trees and I'm going to go sell them in the market and I'm going to put my name on it and then people will say that I have the best apples or the best fruit and they'll want my fruit and all this other stuff. Y'all see how it's starting to turn from a one to another? Okay? How one light's going from another light? You have the light in the world but somebody's taking it and switching it and taking the light from you so you start worshipping that man instead of worshipping the nature system. Or the natural God? Um, do you worship the brand? Are you branded? Are you brand? Are you owned as cattle? The brand dawn that came, and now you got the fire brand and the DeSantis. Um. So, the light we're given, that electric organic machine we're given as a body, it's our temple. Where Jesus, the He's us lives, that we have to take care of, that we don't take care of. Most of us are looking around the world now. What's going on? <sighs> um, we're all fragments of the sun, okay? The sun gives life to this world around us in some ways we don't know. Some ways we do. Man, we give life to this world. In some ways we do, or some ways we know, and some ways we don't. And um, the things that were good in the past and that are still so called good now, those are becoming bad people. And the bad was good. All right. The stuff that's going on now. How the kids don't want to work or whatever, and the the old society doesn't understand it. Their their love is not of money. It's not of an evil intent. And um, their carnal father is not going to take care of them in coming times. So their spiritual father has to come in and take care of them. We are all given a carnal father. That is our father we're born with, our mother we're born with, and we as the son. That our mom's the Holy Spirit, the mother of earth, our father's the father, and then uh, you have the son, the word. We, we obey. Yes, obey. The crown. Um, so, that everything on earth is based on the things of heaven. All right, so you have the sun, the, the sun in the sky. We are the sun, the word. That's the father who gives life to us. Around us, our world. It gives life to, life to our family and other segments of God. Okay, so all knowing that we are all rays of light, all rays of, of God's light, and knowing that there's some connected in a spiritual sense and some connected in a carnal sense and some connected um, in both senses then we have to be able to realize and learn where to learn from people, okay? Um, so this is where it's important to maybe sometimes learn from people who've gone into the dark areas and not listen to the people who've just lived the cookie-cutter lifestyle their whole lifestyle because people are going to know different types of things and they're going to expose different types of light as the light grows away from each other. So, um, when in end times, when you have the Father rising against the Son, this is part of what's going on now where the, the dads just aren't getting their sons, like, go get a job, or his, like, there's something wrong with him because he's not doing what I did, or whatever kind of thing. That's what's going on now, and, and uh, that's part of that narcissistic attitude, the boomers being taught that um, not to be heard, but to be seen, 
Um, so it's just make, giving them a mouth now and they think they're all right because they were taught everything was right, but yet they forsook everything that was right. And that's why everything's going to get judged now because the Lord hath giveth and the Lord shall taketh. And that Lord is the dawn. A dawn equals the Lord. And he is the ray of light that y'all do not stick up for. He is that man who created the us and the hour in his image, um, through the government, through the entertainment. He is the me D I. Okay. Uh, the Ray D O D for Don. <sighs> um, so this light, the sun's light never ceased to exist. We are all connected to this beam of light, okay? And we should treat everybody like an equal ray of light. We do not need to be looking down on people because of the things that they choose to do or the things that they are caught in in this world that they can't get out of. You need to have compassion on the people that are different from you rather than hating the people that are different from you, okay? The church likes to keep separation because they like to teach hate, okay? We're not going into a time of hate. We're going into a time of a new heaven, which is where... Man walks with God. As man walks with God, we realize that we are the Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, that we can do all things through Christ, that we are all men. We can do all things through all men. Okay? Um, so, this is where Jesus is the King of Kings. Obviously, if he's the King of Kings, then he's the King of the Jews. And Jesus was the Jesus of Nazarite. Nazarite. Now nah, you're right. Now nah, you're right. You're right, Jesus. I will follow you. You're right, Jesus. I don't have this ailment. That's what they're telling me I have. Oh, I just need to follow you. Oh, once I follow you, then I'll learn that I need to fast. And I'll do my research. I need to, oh, I need to go on a vegan diet for uh, six weeks and do uh, just salads. Or I need to detox my body for eight years like the spirit had me do and then when it told me it was time it started shaking me you gotta stop you gotta stop you gotta start eating meat again because i gotta meet you um and the fat it helps the electricity in the body and the flow and all this other thing so y'all go back and listen to my video talking about woe to uh the coffee drinkers and alcohol drinks, all that stuff. Uh, either way, um, so this light always exists, all right? One thing I learned doing the dark lifestyle was when I lifted up out of my body doing the nitrous trip uh, dance off that one time with my buddy Ethan and Sean. Uh, we were doing dancing around the living room, balloons in hand, dancing, whatever. Anyways, I was there watching the whole thing, like in the corner, outside of my body, all right? So, as I was separated from the body, watching things, um, this went on for quite a while, like at least a few minutes, like for me to realize kind of what was going on. And then uh, I watched me, I tripped or whatever, obviously because I'm out of my body, um, but I ended up hitting the speaker system music stops and I'm like oh shit that's me down there I gotta go and then I go back in like I was I was like there's like Jeremy Jeremy and I was like that's me dude I gotta go anyways um so uh that's one thing that's taught me about the separation from the body or whatever in the light but we're this um after my brother's death also uh taught me some stuff uh but and as a child with a dark figure over my bed and whatever else, everything in my life's taught me something. Um, I've just happened to have a, I guess a supernatural kind of life because I've had the kind of life that a lot of y'all watch about on TV, I guess, or whatever, a lot of these, what it, like when you break it all down. But um, the, uh, I gotta make a part two because this is, uh, getting long because of time. Sorry, folks.